call this meeting to order. Uh, if you join me in the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mr. Brooks. Here. Mr. Brown. Here. Mrs. Davis. Here. Mr. DeFrancesco. Here. Mr. Giroux. Here. Mr. Gulick. Here. Mr. Johnston. Here. Mr. Lynch. Here. Mr. Velasky. Here. All right, can I have a um, motion for approval of the minutes? So moved. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Right. Start with Sager Town Golf. I'm sorry, no, golf's last. Sager Town Cross Country. Sure. <coughs> Good evening. My name is Bill Hetrick. Um, I'm the high school cross country coach at Sager Town. It's my 18th year. Coaches like to talk a lot, so I wrote down some quick points, so I didn't do that. Uh, Paige and Sam, please come on up. I had two runners qualify for state the state championship meet in Hershey on November 2nd. They both had fabulous races there. The district has been kind enough to print some certificates for you. That's awesome. Uh, I'll talk about Paige first. Uh, she was a sophomore this year. She took seventh out of 113 runners at districts, which is pretty special. Um, Two-time state qualifier as well, so she's getting used to that course down there. She ran 30 seconds faster down there this year than last year, even though she finished three places worse. And I know she was disappointed in that, but um, I'm always a positive person, so she, she was a lot faster, and next year I expect her to medal, which is the top 25. So congratulations, Paige. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> this young lad here is Sam Hetrick. He is um, a freshman at Segertown. He took third at districts in a pretty spectacular race. He had a great season for a freshman. Uh, he had four first place finishes this year in uh, races around the area. He took first at the fabulous Cochranton Invitational, which is quite a big deal. Um, beating uh, the person who eventually took second at districts. Um, he went down to Hershey and he had, a, he had some high expectations uh, for a freshman. You don't know really what to think about that, but he had a really great uh, finish in a race down there. He took 22nd in the state, which is a medal. He was uh, only the second freshman in the history of Segretown to medal, first since 2008. And uh, oh yeah, he did that when he was 14. So I expect great things from Sam in the next three years as well. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Cross Country at Cambridge Springs High School. Hi, um, my name is Kathy Shader. I'm the head coach at Cambridge Springs High School. I, this is my ninth year as head coach. Um, I'll try not to be too long. I also have a cheat sheet. Um, you know, I had a team go to states this year, so that was very exciting. It was the first time we've ever had a team go in our program. Um, I, like I said, I don't want to be too verbose, um, but I ran across a really good article I just want to throw out there by Tom Reisenweber in the Erie Times. It was a couple, two, three weeks ago. He talked more about the journey rather than the end results. And I think we really have to focus on that sometimes to really you know, ha have a total understanding about what cross country is all about. Um, we started our goals early in the year in June. We had a team meeting and our goals were to A, get a team to states, run more mileage, and work to get that first mile fast so we could really accomplish some things as a team. So I'm going to start with the, well, I'm going to talk about Liz Klein a little bit to start. She is not here tonight due to a basketball game, but Liz um, had a really great year. She went into the season with the mindset that she was going to work a lot harder, increase her mileage, because sometimes as a, a lady runner, your sophomore year can be pretty challenging. Um, Especially when you had such a fantastic freshman year, she did her freshman year, she was 25th. So she worked really hard, she cranked out some really good workouts. Um, Liz gashed her knee at Rocky Grove, had to have stitches, so that really affected her training before Regions. She was 6th at the Region 3 meet, 5th at District 10, which is also an improvement from last year, and she did medal again in her sophomore year at, at 20th. So she's on track to do, uh, have a really good career. Um, she's also a really great team leader. She is positive and she's the driving force of building our girls team. Um, so I, she's not here, so how about dad come up and get the certificate? <laughs> <laughs> 
So if you could give that to Liz. Awesome. So I think I'll have as, um, you know, as far as the guys' team, uh, there's a couple things I want to mention about this guys' team. This, this, uh, they are, they have really bonded as a team. They were led by fantastic seniors, Alec Bidwell and Christian Klein. Starting the season with our high goals, it takes a lot to get these kids to practice every day and work hard. They cranked out some incredible workouts. You know, they do, one that comes to mind is you do 12 times 400s and you run each 400 faster. They did that, they, you know, just, just the incredible work it takes to um, become a great runner. Um, these guys had a good attitude. They persevered through the ups and downs of the season. Um, you know, when we met our goal and came in second at districts, they were still disappointed because our ultimate goal is to become district ten champions. But they really had a great attitude. And one of my proudest moments with these guys was when I saw them run up to the Cockerton runners as they were cooling down and shake their hands. So to see these guys do that, that really just warmed my heart. Um, just kind of shows the kind of guys these are. Um, they were first at Rocky Grove as a team. That was probably one of their best performances. They beat some really strong teams there. They beat Punxsutawney, who actually ended up ninth in the double A race at States. They beat Cranberry, who was sixth in their single A race at States. And Cockerton, of course, was seventh at States. Um, they did uh, place very well in all their meets this year. Um, they ended up as a team, second at regions, um, second at districts, and eighth at states, um, ahead of West Middlesex at states. So it was a really, really good year. I just had to say that. Of <laughs> course. Um, going forward, you know, I see great things next year. Alec, Christian, and Sawyer all left the legacy to, they taught these guys well, they taught what it was like to be a good team, the hard work ethic. Um, we should have a very strong team next year. We're returning <coughs> Hunter, Bobby, Eli, Corbin, Adrian, Darren, Maraza. It's going to be a very strong team next year. And every year it's been getting better and better. So I do anticipate it getting better going forward. So I'm just going to call these guys up. And I want them to stay up here as the team comes up. Not all of them are here tonight, unfortunately. But I will just have a couple things to say about each one, and then that'll be that. Um, first off, I'm going to start with the seniors. I, I want to call up Christian Klein. Christian was third at regions, ninth at tenth or ninth at districts, and 40th at states. Um, Christian has improved steadily. Congratulations throughout his career. You know, when he was a freshman runner, he was running in like the mid 20s ish. He came down and by, he had a rough year his sophomore year due to an injury, but his junior and senior years, he really was outstanding as a runner. He cranked out some incredible runs. The nice thing about my team was you never know who was going to be in first. Um, it, a lot of the guys shared the spotlight this year. So he had a fantastic career here at Cambridge. Going to really miss you, Christian. You were you know, just a really great runner, great person all around. So thank you, Christian. You did a good job. Next, Alec Bidwell. Alec is another senior that I'm going to dearly miss. He also had a fantastic career. He did qualify for states as a freshman. He qualified as a sophomore. His junior year, he was struggling with some stress fractures. Um, he had such a great attitude through it all. He came to all the workouts in spite of all of it. Um, he also had a fantastic senior year, also a fantastic leader. Um, he was 8th at Regions, 16th at Districts, and 88th at States. Um, Alec brought a lot of positive energy to the team. He kept the team going. He was just outstanding in all the areas. So thank you, Alec. I am going to miss you. Um, Sawyer Yazichak was my next senior. Sawyer was our 8th runner throughout the season. Um, Again, these kids have multiple activities in school. Um, juggling band and cross country and academics and all that. So when, at, when he was at practice, he worked hard, he did his best. Um, also just a good example of what a nice young man should be. So, <laughs> so he also had a great, great time with us. Really enjoyed his being on a team. 
Um, Eli Mamula had a fantastic year. Um, it was a joy to have Eli back on the team. I mean, not only is he a fantastic athlete, but he's also just a good guy to have around. Good positive energy, very polite, very, just a great kid. Um, Sawyer had a fantastic uh, freshman year also. He was 20th at districts his freshman year, so he just missed going to states. Took a year off to play soccer. Um, then he came back. Um, Eli was seventh at regions, 15th at districts, and 63rd at states. Um, Eli has a ton of potential. I'm gonna work with him to get his mileage up and get him going, and we're gonna really have a great senior year next year. So congratulations, Eli. Whoops, I thought these were in order. <coughs> there we go. Thanks. You're welcome. Darren Moraz is not here tonight. Darren filled a role this year because he did travel with us to states. He was our ninth runner, but he was our alternate for the state meet. Sawyer had some personal things going on that he could not travel with us to the state meet, so Darren was there to step up. Darren is another runner who is up and coming. He, um, I don't know if you remember Zach Moraz, it's he's Zach's younger brother. Darren has a ton of potential, so I'm looking for some good things from Darren. Darren was 57th at Regions and then was our alternate going forward. Our next runner is Hunter Spade. Hunter is another runner that has, you know, shown a lot of ability. Um, he had a fantastic, wonderful freshman year. His freshman year, he went to States. I believe he placed 53rd <coughs> as a freshman. Um, Hunter uh, really started to come on strong towards the uh, end of the season. He trains real hard, he has a good attitude. He was ninth at regions, eighth at districts, and 103rd at states. Um, I see great things from Hunter going forward. He is gonna break some barriers next year, so it's, uh, congratulations, Hunter. Corbin Leonard is not here also. He was, um, Corbin improved greatly from last year. He uh, also has a good work ethic and is motivated. Corbin was 24th at Regions, uh, 45th at Districts, and 161st at States. And Adrian Peterman is not here also. Um, he was 36th at Regions, 64th at Districts, and 178th at States. I lost Bob in there. Bob Modes is another runner who has a great potential, um, works hard, uh, good attitude, great to have around. Bob also qualified for the state meet last year. Um, Bob had a lot of things going on over the summer that inhibited his summer training, but he came on really strong for the end of the season, and actually at our state meet, he moved up to be our fourth runner, fifth runner, fourth. Thank you, I need my cheat sheet. Um, Bob was 17th at um, Regions, 26th at Districts, and 89th at States. Um, Bob also has a ton of potential. I see good things from Bob next year. So there you go, Bob. So these guys right here, I mean, honestly, they represent, you know, a really good team. The, the one exciting thing about these guys this year is that they were a pack. They were 30 to 45 seconds within each other in any given race, and they were very strong and, and really was a fork to be reckoned with at the meets. So that's really awesome thing to have in a cross country team. So with that, I think I'll wrap it up. Um, yeah, just super proud of these guys. Uh, first time team to states, and we'll see what we can do next year. Uh, at Sagertown High School Girls Volleyball. My name is Justin Johnson. I've been the Sagertown Girls Volleyball for coach for four years. Um, we had a great season this year. We lost in the District 10 Championship game and ended up qualifying for the state tournament and lost to a very talented Clarion team that was ranked first in the state all year. Um, it was a very good season for us. We worked extremely hard, put a lot of time in in the off season, and uh, none of the girls could be here tonight because we had a basketball, big basketball game going on up at the school, 
and most of them play basketball that are on the volleyball team, and the ones that didn't wanted to be up there for them. So that was, that was that's nice. So um, just a re real other quick recap of the season. We had some girls that uh, got some individual honors. Kaylee Mulligan was named to the all-district team and also first team all-region. Uh, Avery Bramer was also named the first team all-region. Brittany Houck was second team all-region. But she was voted um, by the Pennsylvania Volleyball Coaches Association to be on the All-State team. So she got a, she got a good rec recognition there for being All-State. And then Amber Costello was also a second team All-Region. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I just want to thank uh, you guys for doing this. I think this is nice to be recognized in front of the public eye, in front of the school board. I think it's a nice touch. Um, I've been coaching here for a long time, I've going on over 18 years, and this is the first time, you know, other than last, than the summer, couldn't make it with the boys team, and also qualified that I've got to do this. So I think it's a nice touch to recognize the athletics that are, that are happening at the school all the time. Um, just a real quick thing about what we're going on in the future for Sagertown Girls Volleyball. Um, we basically took three weeks off. We were, all, we're already in the gym again. Um, so, you know, three or four years ago, we won very few matches, and we're on the uptick, you know, now. And we're going to be very competitive, and I'm looking forward to great things, not only locally here, but I expect to be competitive at the state level uh, for a few years here to come. So thank you again. Sagertown High School Golf. My name is Brian Hanley. Uh, I've been coaching golf for 22 years now. I was a football coach for 10, turned golf coach. Uh, I had a passion for football. Um, didn't like how the Flossie was going over in the Maplewood area, so I decided to come back. I actually coached Mr. Brooks over there. He was a heck of a player, let me tell you, first of all. Um, I'm, I also want to say, Bill Hetrick, he, he can't brag about his own son because that wouldn't look cool. Right? So let me do the bragging for you. Sam Hetrick, uh, he holds our school record in the elementary school. Uh, only kid ever to, to run under six minutes as a as a elementary boy, so I'm I'm pretty sure Sam will be a, a state champion here pretty soon. I did, that's just a, a feeling I have. I can say that his dad, you know, would be bragging if he didn't. Um, Dylan Flinchbaugh, come on up. <clears throat> um, our our team has won the uh, region eight years in a row, and uh, Dylan is a big part of that. Dylan's a, a really good baseball player, and he's also a very good golfer. Obviously, that's why he's standing here. Um, he took most of the summer off from baseball which is a big passion. You can ask, he's really good. He's, he, started a lot of, he started a district game as a pitcher, as a ninth grader last year, and actually won, beat the region champ Union City. Um, so he took a lot of time off from baseball to focus on golf. And you know, being that I was a football coach-minded person, you know, my, my good friend was a high school golfer, and I, I remember the day I was making fun of him. You know, oh, you're a wimp, you can't believe you play golf. You know, if you'd have told me that day that I'd be coaching golf, I would have called you a liar. Um, because I thought, you know, how hard is it to golf? And then I realized you have a 50-pound bag on your back. You're walking up and down hills about five miles in 95, 85 degree heat and humidity. And you do that every day, pretty soon you realize that golf is a very difficult sport to practice and to perform at. Um, and to play it at a high level especially. I mean, anybody can go out and play golf and, you know, play like I do. Uh, it takes a, a special talent to play like Dylan does. Um, he's only a sophomore. He was... Uh, Second in our region by two strokes, missing the player of the year. Um, districts in golf is very difficult to get out of. There are six counties that make up District 10. Six counties, and they only take eight kids from districts to move on. Um, so Dylan actually finished uh, in eighth position. Um, he goes, to, now, a lot of, a lot of sports, you, you win districts, you go right to the state tournament. That used to be that way for golf, but now they've changed it. Now you have to go to a regional. And at regionals, you have the best of the best from Pittsburgh and from all the, you know, the big areas and things. Um, Dylan shoots an 80, which last year the cut was 82. So he comes in, I asked him what he shot. He said he shot an 80. I'm like, you're right up, you're going to be right there. It's going to be close. And the cut was 79. So he actually missed going to the state tournament by, by one stroke. But the good news is he's a sophomore and he has two more years to go. Um, so we have high hopes for him. I know if he continues to, to work hard like he's done in the past, um, We'll be standing here again next year with, with even better news for you. All right, so I'd like to hand this to Dylan and congratulate him. Good job. You can sit down. Well. Congratulations on behalf of the entire school board and staff. Thank you so much for you know uh, putting your, our best foot forward on the field. 
uh, in the classroom and, and the community as well. We're going to pause for 30 seconds because it's a school night and I'm sure kids want to head out and start studying. We're finished studying. So we'll give you 30 seconds to sneak on out of here unless you want to stay and be part of the democratic process. All right, um, hopefully our student delegates didn't leave. Are there any student delegates here this evening? One student delegate from Sagertown. All right, why don't you stand up and introduce yourself to us. I'm Michael Dijon, uh, Panther Press. Don't be shy. Good evening, my name is Michael Dijon and I'm a staff writer for the Panther Press. I would like to bring you up to speed on what has been happening at Sagertown High School. Pencrest Variety Show was held on November 22nd at Cambridge and December 4th at Sagertown. 14 acts from across the district are showcased their talents and raised almost $1,000 for the National History Day Club at Cambridge and Panther Press at Sagertown. Esports Tournament will be held Monday, December 16th after Sagertown High School, or after school at Sagertown High School. The event is being run by Braden Kantz, former Panther Press Managing Editor. Teams from all three Pencrest schools will face off in a variety of games. Pantherian Key Club purchased and delivered 49 winter coats to Sagertown Elementary through this year's Share the Warmth project. Club members also helped decorate the gazebo at Sagertown and welcome Santa Claus to town. Next week, they will stuff and deliver gift bags to the residents of Crawford County Care Center as part of the project with Meagle Kiwanis. All winter sports teams are beginning competition for the season. Sophomore Brittany Houck was named to the 2019 All-Team State by Pennsylvania Volleyball Coaches Association, PVCA. She was the only Pencrest student to make the team. On Tuesday night, the Sagertown Gym was officially named Steve Scott Gymnasium to honor the legendary Pan Lady Panthers basketball coach. Coach Scott has been coaching at Sagertown for 34 years. The holiday concert will be held on December 18th at 7 p.m., featuring the music programs at Sagertown High School. Please join us for an evening of music. The next issue of the Panther Press will be released on December 20th. Thank you for your time, and please follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Panther Press SHS. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. PAEA uh, representative, comments? <coughs> be very, very brief. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'd like to recognize all the fall sports teams, athletes. I think it'd be a miss, but I didn't mention Mr. Brooks that despite Maple football falling just short in D10 Hill again against Farrell, we were the only team to lead Farrell in the fourth quarter of all Class A teams all year. And just won the states last week. Yeah, that was great. So we fell short, but we got a lot of, a lot of respect from Farrell, Mercer County. That was a positive thing. Um, also, best wishes to all the winter athletes this year at all three schools. And lastly, happy holidays, every winter families. Thank you. Yeah, any registered citizens' comments? Yeah. All right, we're going to begin with the agenda. Athletic Committee, Mr. Gould, the chairman. Uh, item A, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Justin Grubbs from his duties as head football coach for Cayman Springs Junior Senior High School, effective November 22nd. On behalf of the committee, I make a motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Recommend approval to employ the following individuals as listed as coaches. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item C, recommend approval of the athletic travel as listed. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Education <laughs> Committee, Mr. Brooks, Chairman. Item A, recommend approval of the agreement with one federal credit union as attached. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of the mutual aid agreement with General McLean School District as attached. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Recommend approval of student travel as listed, MHS district band. Uh, jazz band to Bradford and band to Jamestown High School. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Facilities and Transportation Committee, Mr. Johnson, Chairman. Item A, 
Recommend approval to contract with ERA Richmond Real Estate Services for the sale of the district owned property and buildings located at School Street and Route 77 as attached. The initial list price is $75,000 in accordance with the August 16, 2019 appraisal. The property shall be advertised and sold as is. I have the committee to make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item B. Recommend approval of the amended quotation from C. N. Eichenlaub Company for for bleacher installation at Maplewood and Sagertown High Schools as attached. Yeah, have the committee to make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> Item C. Recommend approval of a parent-provided transportation agreement for student A. On behalf of the committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Finance Committee, Mr. Brown, Chairman. Item A. Recommend approval of the Treasurer's reports as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of the disbursements as attached. On behalf of that committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item C, recommend approval of the resolution not to exceed the Act 1 index for the 2020-21 school year as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item D, recommend approval of the sub-grant contracts with Northwest Tri-County IU-5 for the 2019-20 IDEA pass-through grants as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item D, <clears throat> recommend approval of the hardship and eligibility amendments to the District 403B retirement plan as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item F, recommend authorization for administration to advertise and or otherwise request bids or quotes for products or services to be purchased during the 2020 one fiscal year. All bid quotes will be subject to board approval. <coughs> On behalf of the committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item G. Recommend approval of the activity club transactions as listed. On behalf of the committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Second. Um, Item Bob. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I'd like to do the personnel committee, chairman to be determined, as a consent agenda, voting for items A, B, C, D, E, and F, as listed. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? Do you have a second? Yeah. Yeah. Tim. Tim. Tim seconded, right? Yeah. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion pa motions passed. Policy committee. Mr. D. Francesco, <coughs> chairman. Recommend approve the policies as listed and attached. Policy 004 membership. Policy 201 admission of students. 204 attendance. And policy 808 food service. I move to, re to recommend the to approve their recommendation of the committee. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, item B, first reading of policies does not need voted on. However, we have the first reading for policy 126, class side student assignment, 130 homework, 206 assignment within the district, 803 school calendar. 
<clears throat> Safety and Security Committee, Chairman to be determined. We have uh, nothing to vote on this month. Crawford County Career and Technology Center, Mr. Johnston, Representative. Is there a report this evening? I do not. Intermediate Unit Number 5 report, Mr. Brooks. Thank you, Five. Had a meeting this week. Um, the two main topics would be interesting are um, bullying prevention. 28% of all students in grades 6, 8, 10th, and 12th indicated they've been bullied. Um, eighth grade seems to be the grade that they get most um, report being bullied. And 15.6% of the safe to safe calls made to the state hotline were related to bullying. And um, there's also some discussion about the dangers of vaping and how easy it is to vape at schools and um, to keep an eye out for that. Thank you. Uh, PSP Legislative Report, Mr. Gulick. I don't have anything. Okay. Any new business? Board member, Mark. Board member we'll start with Bob over here. I'd like to congratulate all the uh, fall sports uh, students with their achievements. I think that's fantastic. Uh, I'd like to encourage our winter sports uh, athletes to, to do their best. I'd like to encourage everybody to have a safe and Merry Christmas this year. And uh, that's all I got. Um, first, just to clarify for the record, I'm not nearly as good of a football player as I am portrayed in the, uh, my myth has grown over the years. I just want to put that out there for those that actually saw me play back in olden times in a leather helmet. Um, my teammates would let you know that there were many of them much better than me. No face mask. No face mask. That's why I got so beautiful. Um, I just wanted to note that we've had such great participation from the community lately. Um, you know, from the, the sports meetings to the band meetings to the um, the education meetings, we're getting a lot of input from a lot of different sources, and that's how this is supposed to work. It's supposed to work with everyone coming together and, and having their say. And then at the end of it, we all move on on the same page and make sure that we work to get things done. Um, we're getting a lot of great success, um, sports, academically. Um, I'm really seeing a, a lot of positive things happening. Um, I'd say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays coming up. Be careful out there driving as the weather gets bad. And lastly, um, on on this upcoming Sunday, yeah, fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you did you want to go? No, go for it. Mm -hmm. I need ten minutes. All right. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Must be my turn. Um, first of all, congratulations to all the athletes that were recognized tonight. It was tremendous to see so much participation and so much success from Pencrest students. Um, I attended the Gold Card Luncheon today at Sagertown Elementary, and it was a great experience. And bear with me, I just want to recognize some people that, that worked really hard to make it successful. Um, first, Erin Gregler, who is uh, with Nutrition, Nutrition Inc., and she coordinated all three schools. Um, here there was uh, Ms. Jamie Miller and Ms. Linda Foister, who are SES cafeteria <coughs> staff. Uh, Lori Jones always does a great job. She's a custodian, head custodian. We had the sixth grade servers for Mrs. Greco and Mrs. Stewart's class. Kayla, Brandy, Addie, Paige, Liam, and Nathan. We had Mrs. Danielle Shartle and the fourth grade art students do the placemats, and they were fantastic, good, better art than I could ever do. Um, Mr. Ashbaugh, Mr. Askey, and Mrs. Matera, and Mrs. Kearns, uh, fifth grade singers who were fantastic again. Uh, they did Christmas carols. Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Zirkel's first grade singers were also great. And Mrs. Richardson, Mrs. Triola, Mrs. Smith, and Mrs. Slosser's kindergarten kids were just cuter than you could imagine. <laughs> and they did a great job as well. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention, I'll be quick here, in the paper a couple, three weeks ago, maybe some of you may have missed it, the Hayfield Grange every year gives dictionaries to every third grader in uh, Pencrest, and I just wanted to give a shout out to them and tell them how much we appreciate that. 
Um, they couldn't do it without all the donations that they get, both individuals and local businesses, both here in Maplewood and Cambridge. Um, so we thank everybody, it's too numerous to mention, but we thank everybody that um, donated for those dictionaries, which just goes to show that it's important to patronize our local businesses, whether you're in Segertown or Cambridge or Townville or wherever you happen to be. If it's a few cents more, buy it there. It's, they help out the community and the big box stores do not. Um, so that's my editorial comment for the night. Mm -hmm. And finally, just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you. Well, first I'd like to uh, welcome the new new directors that we have here tonight, uh, Mrs. Davis, Mr. Lynch, and uh, Mr. Valeskis. I also like to remind them that uh, the mission of the board is twofold. Number one is the education of our children. And number two, we are the fiscal watchdogs to make sure that all the money goes to the education for the kids. As a matter of fact, I you know, appreciate all the uh, professional staff that show up tonight to discuss that particular uh, subject, the education of the kids. And I'm sure that uh, you're gonna help the board to understand what's going on and how to improve, <coughs> how, how to improve the education that we would like to see improve. As simple as that. And I, the, uh, and I usually go around and um, I'll be going around the schools to try to find out some information because I like to know what's what's really going on out in the field because without knowing what's going on in the field, it's really hard to come up with a decision, a sound decision. So I appreciate what you guys are doing. And uh, well, the holiday is coming up. Merry Christmas. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but that's what it is. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a, a day to remember of a, one particular individual that was born 2019 years ago. And I'm sure we're not going to see you again before the new year. Have a happy new year, too, you know. And I think the next year is going to be an, a good one for all. And with that, that's it. All right, Tim. Uh, okay, well, to all the fall sports, it was awesome to see all the kids here, especially cross country, near and dear to my heart. It's always my favorite. And good luck to all the winter sports. And uh, I just want to touch on real quick, uh, December 15th at the Maplewood Elementary School from 1 to 4 p.m. there will be a spaghetti uh, meatball dinner. Uh, proceeds go to the Brian Guy's White family. So anybody who can, can attend, uh, that's awesome. It's a $10 for adults, $5 for kids. There's a prize, raffles. We have 30 plus themed baskets. There's a kayak, Yeti cooler, uh, peak and peak overnight package, and a ton, ton more. I hear there's a few more that aren't even on there now. So uh, like I said, all this goes to help benefit the Brian Guys White family. And, uh, you know, trying to remember, Brian was on this board for a short time, but he had a very large impact. He, he was an awesome individual, and he really, really cared about our students and our district. And he proved that time and time again with what he did with the PTO, and always going above and beyond. So this is to help uh, keep his memory alive. And uh, I want to say have a very Merry Christmas and a happy and a safe New Year and I look forward to see you all in January. Um, yeah, just congratulations to all the um, athletes this fall. It sounds like everything went really good. Um, and thank you all of you for coming out tonight and uh, uh, just sharing your opinions about the curriculum and uh, uh, just enlightening us on that. Um, just have a Merry Christmas. Looking forward to the New Year coming. So. Just bear with me while I get up to speed with everybody with uh, the changes you guys want to make with the t um, teaching curriculum. Is that what you guys are going for with that? So, you know, just if I have some questions, I just uh, bear with me if I don't understand everything that you guys are talking about. So, better not, I to talk to some of you soon. Thank you. 
a lot of it's already been said, but I just, I would like to thank the Pencrest community for giving me the opportunity to serve here. Um, I'm doing my best to come up to speed with some things that we're all discussing that I have a lot to learn about. So um, I do want to thank the teachers that took their time out tonight. I wish we could have heard more from you. Um, you're the ones that work directly with our kids. And so I do really value your opinion. So I would, you know, when I continue to send emails, I would love to read them. Um, the kids that got up here, I know that's just a, a fraction of our students, but we're proud of you. Um, and I look forward to seeing what winter sports does. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody, too. All right. Um, I don't really have a whole lot. To, I mean, like she said, it's all been, it's all been said. Uh, I had the opportunity to go to the variety shows, and I'll tell you, we have some talented kids in this district. Um, we really do. Uh, I know a quartet because they did it twice. Once at Cambridge, one at Segertown, a quartet one at Segertown. <clears throat> we were at a board meeting, so I didn't really get to to see the whole thing. Uh, my kid won at Cambridge, just a little little promo there, but uh, and I I did nothing. I had nothing to do with it. Um, but anyway, I just want to. I mean, we have some really talented kids uh, doing vocals, and one kid was doing Taekwondo, and I mean, we have some really talented kids in sports and and not in sports. Um, but that's really about all I have. So we'll. Uh, Move on to announcements. The board met executive session on December 4th and today, December 12th, for personnel, real estate, and negotiations. Those are all the announcements we have. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.